Okay, we have here today another interesting integral from the UNSW integration. Be 2020, this one's problem 12. We have the integral from 0 to square root of 3 over 4, 2x, arc sine 2x, over square root of 1 minus 4x squared dx. Okay, the first thing I noticed looking at this is the fact that we have, we have arc sine here in the numerator, but the derivative of arc sine 2x is actually exactly what we have here in the denominator, or 1 over this is our derivative. So this is making me think a u substitution could work here if I just make u equal to arc sine of 2x. And then we'll take the derivative of this. So the du value of this is going to be 1 over square root of 1 minus, this is actually 2x squared, but that's the 4x squared dx. And then before we make the substitution, the only thing hanging out here is what do we do with this 2x? Well, we can get a value for that from right here. Because this is an inverse, I can actually write this as 2x equal to sine of u. And so we'll use that for the substitution. So let's go ahead with this and we'll update our bounds to start. Plugging in square root of 3 over 4 in here, 2 times that gives me square root of 3 over 2. Arc sine of square root of 3 over 2 is just pi over 3. Then plugging a 0 in, arc sine of 0 is just 0. Then going ahead with the substitution, again, just noticing that we have our du, all this stuff out here matches this. So our 2x value first is going to be just sine of u. And then this is going to be u here. So we're multiplying by u and everything else is du. But now with two functions here, u times sine of u, this looks like a good case for integration by parts. So going ahead with this, I'm going to use the di method or tabular integration. I've already decided I want to differentiate u and integrate sine u. The reason I like to differentiate u is we can differentiate that all the way down to zero. It's going to become simpler when we do this. Let's just see how this works. When I take a derivative of u, we get 1. Take a derivative of again, we have 0. Here, we'll integrate sine of u. We have minus cosine of u. Integrate one more time, we've got minus sine of u. Now, because we have this 0 here, we don't have to worry about integrating the last row. So we just can take our solution here on the diagonals. I think I'll start with this second one. So we have minus times minus is a plus. So for our first term, we're going to have just a sine of u. And then for this other one, we're going to have minus u cosine of u. And we just need to evaluate this from 0 to pi over 3. Now, evaluating this at pi over 3, first we're going to have sine of pi over 3. That's just going to be square root of 3 over 2, basically what we found before. Then here, plugging in pi over 3, we're going to have pi over 3 in for u. Cosine of pi over 3, that's just going to be 1 half. And actually, I realized a mistake I made. When we, took, when we took the derivative earlier of arc sine 2x to get this, well, I forgot to use the chain rule because of the 2x on the inside. So when we take the derivative of 2x, we're supposed to get a 2. So I needed to have a 2 here. But in order to do that, I need to have a half out front. So this is fine. But what I need to do is bring this 1 half down that I forgot earlier. So we'll bring that down here, here, and we'll put that in right here. Then continuing on, evaluate at 0. Sine of 0 is going to be just 0. Minus, plugging in a 0 for u, that's going to be 0 times cosine, which is 1. Anyway, this whole piece is 0, so we don't care about this. So in order to finish this off, I just need to distribute in this 1 half. So for our first term, we're going to have this is going to become square root of 3 over 4. Then multiplying pi over 3 times a half is pi over 6 times a half gives me minus pi over 12. And that's it. Okay, pretty good one with integration by parts. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.